This is Lise Nielsen. Today I'll be painting the ocean crashing behind some rocks on the central coast of California. Uh, this is the area where I grew up and have spent a lot of my life. Um, and I'm excited to be painting this for you. The rocks I consider a grouped mass and it's kind of like the rocks are the main event and the water behind is just showing you the action and the exhilaration of the force of the sea and what these rocks experience every day. Um, I know this area so well and have climbed on these rocks and I know the growth around the rocks and what the water feels like between my toes and the sand. And um, it's just a great area to be in. And uh, anyway, this is being painted from a photograph. It's been way too hot to paint outside on location right now. So I'll be painting in the studio today. And then um, I should be getting out soon. I know I keep promising that and I will definitely because it's where my heart is. <laughs> and um, anyway, I'm excited to show this to you. The painting of this, the a little bit of instruction to go with it, and I want to share some of my chicken scratch drawings that I use for my paintings. I just want to show you how you're not really after the detail so much as you are the values and the design. And that's the way I use my drawings for my painting. So I'll quickly go through the drawings and then I'll get right into this uh, great ocean scene that I'll be um, working through with you. working on paper and what I have done this is good watercolor paper in a pad I used some good clear gesso for this which does give it a tooth uh, for the oil paint and then keeps it from allowing the oil to be sucked into the paper and bleed through the paper uh, it is archival paper uh, so I, I think this will be a nice experience. I'm looking forward to doing this. I put two layers of prime on the front and one layer of prime on the back because it was kind of curling. And so I think the one on the back will help it to not bleed through and also for it to lay flat. Because this is a seascape, I think I will tone it uh, pinkish tone today, just trying some different tones out. And um, so I have my uh, non-toxic solvent that I will use for that. And um, I'll go ahead and get that tone going. And that was just a little bit of alizarin crimson and some titanium white. So I dip my paper towel in the solvent and I'll go ahead and get some paint on that. I have this clipped on uh, to a board and I'm just working on a chair so if you're a person who doesn't really have an easel set up yet I, I'm just showing some different options of how you can work. You don't need an expensive easel. Um, you can use a chair and prop it up and use some 
inexpensive clips to hold it up or a bungee cord. Just kind of improvise. Here is my drawing that I've done. I've got my rocks drawn in here and you can see the waves going in here and then the stream of water coming through. I've got some rocks right in here and here, down here is my photograph that I'll be using. I have drawn this out. Uh, I've used my drawing and I've looked at the characteristics of the rocks while doing that. I tried to put in some of the shadows. They are fairly cool. Uh, so I'm using some of this cerulean blue and some alizarin crimson for that. seaweed that is growing on the rocks and I just use cad red light and some viridian but it is a pretty warm color and so actually I think I'll add some of that alizarin no particular um, best way to do your brush strokes on this. I try to do a variety of ways. brush. I think this is from Rosemary and Company uh, in um, England. Nice, really fine brushes. brush is not really dirty with these waves. Okay, I'll try that now. And I'm just going to use a free brush stroke here. Not it, There's not a lot of shadow. There's form, um, but it's a splashing wave, so...
Okay, this is a new day. I waited a couple of days in between painting. Um, it just, I needed to think about it for a little while. That's, that's a good thing to do. What I'm doing is I'm using a badger brush. I am softening the edges of these here. I want it to look like it's sitting, the, this color is under the water here, not on top of the water. And then the reflections actually come down. These are reflecting down onto the water there. So um, I need to rework this a little bit here. I need to rework this right here a bit. This brush is really great for um, these soft edges up here where it's spraying off of the top and, and it needs to look like um, vapor. Uh, some of this needs that feeling. Some of these I, you know, I have to decide what, what needs that and what doesn't. Um, I want to go over the foam in the back some. You roll it off of your brush. This is a very soft touch up here. So those are some of the things I'll be doing with this. Rounding that off a little bit. So it's little things like that that will help finish this painting. So I'm just going to work for a little while, not talk much should see a finished painting soon. There are a lot of lost and found edges, soft edges. It's giving it the detail that it needs.
you so much for watching this video. I appreciate everyone who is subscribing and I hope that um, you're getting a lot out of these. So uh, this is Lise Nielsen, Artist in the Woods, Happy Painting.